In this video, we'll see how to calculate the area of a trapezium. A trapezium is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. Let's look at the first one. We've got a trapezium here. We can see the two parallel sides. That's this one and this one. And the perpendicular distance between the two sides is eight centimetres. Now, to make this diagram a little bit easier to work with, I'm going to move this label outside the trapezium. Then what I'm going to do is split this trapezium into two triangles. I can do that either by joining this pair of opposite vertices or this pair of opposite vertices. It doesn't matter which pair I choose, so I'm going to choose this pair here. Now the area of the trapezium will be the area of this triangle here plus the area of this triangle up here. So we know our formula for area of a triangle. It's going to be a half base times height. So this first triangle has an area of a half of 15 times 8 and we need to add on the area of the second triangle. That's this one here and this triangle has a base of nine centimeters and a height of eight centimeters it has the same height as the first triangle so a half base times height means for the second one we're going to be doing a half of nine times eight so this here is the area and if we work this out we get a half of 15 times eight which works out to 60. And then we have a half of nine times eight, which works out to 36. So when we add those together, we get 96 centimeters squared. So the big idea here is that you can split a trapezium into two triangles and then use your knowledge of area of a triangle in order to find the area of a trapezium. Now, we can actually come up with a formula for the area of a trapezium. Let's say we've got a trapezium where the parallel sides have lengths A and B units and the distance between those two sides measured at right angles, let's call it the height, is H units. Then the area of this trapezium is going to be the area of the two triangles. And this triangle here has an area of a half times this base times the height. So that's a half a h. And then we need to add on the area of the other triangle. This triangle has base b and height h. So a half base times height is going to be a half b h. And here we have a formula for the area of a trapezium where the parallel sides have lengths a and b and this distance here is h. Now we can factorize this expression here and if we do that our formula becomes a half h multiplied by a plus b. Now it is worth learning the formula, it will come in handy when we do some more advanced problems but for questions where you just have to find out the area of a trapezium and you're given all these bits of information, it's quite helpful just to think of it as the area of two separate triangles. Here are two more examples. Pause the video and have a go at these for yourself. Here's what you should have found. Now we can do this either by using the formula or by splitting it up into triangles. I'm going to use the formula for this one. So we know that the area equals a half h multiplied by a plus b. a and b, remember, are the lengths of the two parallel sides. And we can see from these marks here that the two parallel sides are 10 and 12 centimetres long. And the h is the perpendicular distance between them. So this distance here which is seven centimetres. So that's a half multiplied by seven multiplied by 10 plus 12 in brackets. So that's a half times seven times 22. 
and it doesn't matter what order we multiply in so I can do the half times the 22 which is 11 and then just do 7 times 11 which gives me 77 and we were working with centimeters here so our units for area are centimeters squared so the area of this trapezium is 77 centimeters squared moving on to the other trapezium I'll do this one by splitting it up into triangles so I get this here the first triangle has area of 4 times 5 divided by 2 so base of 4 height of 5 means I've got a half base times height and then I need to add on the area of the other triangle this one has a base of nine centimeters and a height of five centimeters. Notice we've got a base and a perpendicular height here. So that's a half times base times height. And this gives me a half times four times five, which is 10 plus a half times nine times five, which is actually 22 and a half. So my area ends up being 32.5 centimetres squared.